The Global Fund, a partnership between governments and the public and private sectors, is subsidizing the drug in Zanzibar for three years at a cost of two million dollars. Rama and the scores of patients who turn up every day to see her belong to a lucky minority. My name is Rahma Abdallah Maisara. I am working in Kivunge Cottage Hospital. Zanzibar is overwhelmed with malaria and during the rainy season when malaria is at its peak up to six children have to share one hospital bed. So now I'm going to continue with our work. Ali Juma. The baby's name is Ali Musa. They came from Kwajun just nearby. Yeah. They came here with a problem of fever, diarrhea two times today and uh, coughing from yesterday. They think she's malaria, she has malaria and pneumonia. Malaria is very, very killer disease in our Zanzibar, especially for babies below five years. 70% of the death is, is caused by malaria in our Zanzibar. All over East Africa, the malaria parasite has become resistant to the old drugs. This means malaria is killing more and more children. In the 1990s, nearly twice as many young children died from malaria than a decade earlier. In September 2003, an artemisinin drug, artesanate, became available here in Zanzibar and revolutionized malaria treatment. Artesanate is better because many cases, they do not return again. When we use chloroquine tablet, the patient go, go home, then they return again with the fever. But after using this, many cases are not returning again. About 98% they get better after using artesanate. Before treatment, Musa must first have a blood test to check the levels of parasite in his blood. He's only been ill for two days, but the parasites will have already invaded both his liver and his red blood cells and will have started to multiply into the millions. Once a child's body is infected with the parasite, it's only a matter of time before the disease takes over. Musa has prescribed a life-saving artemisinin-based treatment, two pills for three days, and he'll be better. Many of the children which was already given this drug, after 24 hours, we'll be all right. They play, they go anywhere without problem, rather than chloroquine tablets. Changing drug policy is no easy task. Countries which do must adapt their healthcare services and find ways to get people to finish a three-day course of treatment. They're understandably loath to switch drugs unless they're sure of steady funding for the new treatments. Zanzibar has funding for three years. After that, the future is uncertain. But after just six months with the new drugs, the very idea of going back to the old days of treatment is simply inconceivable. We can't go back. Because we have, we, we change our policy from chloroquine to artesanate, so never come back. Musa must be kept in hospital overnight for observation. His mother knows this won't be the last time she makes the trip to Kavungi Hospital. In Zanzibar, a child can suffer from malaria three or four times a year. Without artemisinin-based drugs, this means facing the possibility of death four times every year. If the subsidies run out, then what? The drugs are too expensive for people to afford. For now, she knows her child will be saved by artemisinin. But in three years' time, the drug may no longer be available if the subsidy is not renewed. As hoped, the production of larger amounts of synthetic artemisinin has succeeded. Chris now knows that the drug can go on to the next stage, clinical trials. This, however, is not the end of the road. There are still a number of obstacles to be overcome, and it'll be at least five years before this synthetic antimalarial can be used in places like Muheza or Zanzibar. 
Until then, millions of people will continue to face malaria with either ineffectual or unaffordable drugs. Well, this is a, a scaled up production. We have almost two kilos here. This has gone very well indeed. The, the purity is very high. Of course, this is not a drug yet ready to go into humans. Work has to be done, it has to be formulated, it has to be put into tablet form and so on. But the omens, the data look very good indeed. We may be looking here at the next big weapon in the fight against malaria.